has a problem with the Israelites that dwell in this land. Come on. Because there is no truth. The reason God got a problem with our people because ain't no truth taking place among our people. Ain't no truth taking place among our people. Nobody is speaking truth with their neighbor. Everybody lying, stealing, killing. Let's read. Because there is no truth, nor mercy. Nor what? Nor mercy. Ain't no mercy upon our people. Do we show each other mercy in this land? Hell no. We ain't come out here to teach violence. We came out here to teach the solutions. To take, yes, right. to, for us, for, for the Lord to come back and take America. America is going down in the yeah, ground. Yeah, yeah. They going down and our people don't even see it. World War Three is coming to this place. And if you ain't doing what this Bible say, you're going to get caught up in it. So now we got yokes of iron put on our necks because we broke God's laws. Now, here's the problem that's taking place in our community. And then we're going to deal with the solution. Hosea chapter 4 verse 1. So the Lord was angry with the Israelites because he gave us laws to keep and we breaking them. So in order for us to change the conditions that we are in, we got to know what we're doing that's wrong. Because a lot of the things our people are doing, they think it's right. Hey, you young brothers, y'all got time? Y'all got time? Come back. Read. The book of Hosea is at the 4 and verse 1. Watch this. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. So the Lord is speaking to you, brothers. It says, hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. Read. That's who we are. We're from the tribe of Judah, the so-called American blacks. It says, hear the word of the Lord. We got to listen to what this Bible says. Read it again. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. For the Lord have a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. God says he has a problem with the Israelites that dwell in this land. Come on. Because there is no truth. The reason God got a problem with our people because ain't no truth taking place among our people. Ain't no truth taking place among our people. Nobody is speaking truth with their neighbor. Everybody lying, stealing, killing. Let's read. Because there is no truth, nor mercy. Nor what? Nor mercy. Ain't no mercy upon our people. Do we show each other mercy in this land? Hell no. You can look on the news and see that every day. Little boy got shot in the head. Where you going? Where you going? You remember back in the day? I grew up in the 90s. Right? I was born in the 80s. Grew up in the 90s. I grew up with you. Remember when the game, it, it, it's not good, but when the games was at war, what did they do when the little kids were getting out of school? They did what? They waited for what? Where was a ceasefire when the kids got out of school? Which still ain't good for us to be fighting and shooting and killing each other. But they did have that type of sense. Today, they shooting at, at the school. You understand? In the school. They killing you with your kids. And your kids. Ain't no mercy upon our people. This is why, remember, the Lord say, I got a problem with the Israelites because there is no mercy with them. They don't show each other mercy. Read. You step on my shoe, I call my homie say, he messed up my new joints. And we jump on you and kill you over some damn shoes. What type of mercy is that? There's no mercy with our people. Read it again. Nor mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land. Nor there is, is there any knowledge of God in the land. Watch this. Read on. By swearing and lying and killing and stealing Read out. and committing adultery. These things take place amongst our people, right? So the Lord said the Israelites do these things right here. They're, they're lying, stealing, killing, committing adultery. Was that it? They break out and blood touch of blood. Blood touch of blood. Me and you brothers, right? What does blood touch of blood mean? It's easy. If we brothers, it's called what? It's what? Us. Huh? It's us. No, no, no. Blood touch of blood. I mean, if your blood come out, my blood come out and it touches each other. Fight, y'all fight? Yes, but what is it called? It's called crime. Black on black, 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 black crime. Bring yeah. it out. Blood yeah. touch of blood. We killing one another. This is what's taking place. This is why the Lord got a problem with us. Give me chapter 6 because he want a solution. Chapter 6 verse 1. He want the solutions. Let's give y'all the solutions. Chapter 6 verse 1. The book of Hosea, chapter 6 and verse 1. So we heard the problems, right? 
Those are some of the things that's taking place among our people. Murder, lying, stealing, swearing, killing, sleeping with other men's wives, women sleeping with other men, women husbands. This is taking place in our community. Watch what the Lord say. Read. Come and let us return unto the Lord. What did the Lord say? Come and let us return unto the Lord. Read it again. Come and let us return unto the Lord. You heard what God says? The Bible says, come and let us return unto the Lord. Let us come back to this Bible. Read it again. Come and let us return unto the Lord. For he hath torn. Remember, it says, for he hath torn. Meaning, who put us in slavery? Who did it when we read the scriptures? It says, who's going to bring us into slavery again? Who did it? The white, the, the Lord gave the white man the power to do it. But who ultimately allowed us to go into slavery? Who was it? What? No, who ultimately allowed us to go into slavery? Give me that Deuteronomy 28, verse 48 again. I want y'all to pay close attention. The white man did it, but who allowed it to happen to? Who sent the white man against us? That's what I'm trying to ask. The black? No, let's read it. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. And the Lord. 68. Which the Lord shall sin against thee. Read that part again. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall sin against thee. So who sent the white man against us? God. God did it. I want y'all to understand that. If we keep God's commandments, the Lord is going to fight for us. Right. But if we break the commandments, God is against us, believe it or not. The Bible says, come therefore and let us return unto the Lord. Give me that again. Come and let us return unto the Lord, for he have torn. He have torn, meaning he did this to us. The Lord allowed us to go into slavery. He said, I'm sending a white man to get your hard head behind. You going back in slavery, just like I told Moses it was going to happen. It sure come to pass. Read it again. Come and let us return unto the Lord. For he have torn. He have torn us. He allowed us to go through the oppression that we go through today. Mental distress, poverty, racism, projects, pissy hallways. Look at our community, trash everywhere. Low paid jobs. Read. And he will heal us. And he will what? And he will heal us. Last scripture in uh, Sirach 4. Is it Sir, uh, Baruch 4 and 1? So the Bible says that we got to return unto the Lord, right? Meaning we got to keep God's commandments. That's what it's saying. Last scripture, I'm going to show you. The book of Baruch, chapter 4 and verse 1. This is the book of the commandment of God. This whole book, what's documented in it is God's laws, God's commandments. This is the book of the commandments of God. And the law that endureth forever. Read. All they that keep it. All they that keep God's laws shall come to light. Believe it or not, our people are walking dead. Without God's commandments, they're walking dead. They can't even see the destruction that's happening to our people. They can't even see the mass killing that's going on among us is because we're breaking God's laws. Read on. But such as leaving, but everybody that want to take to hell with this Bible, that don't want to keep God's laws, shall die. Shall what? Shall die. You see why our people died today? They not keeping God's laws. He say all that break God's commandments shall die. Read. Turn thee, O Jacob, uh -huh. and take hold of it. So it's talking to us. We are Jacob's sons. It says, turn thee, O Jacob, take hold of God's commandments. Turn thee, O Jacob, and take hold of it. Uh -huh. Walk in the presence of the light thereof. So what is he saying? We got to keep God commandments. We got to keep God's laws so the Lord can bring forth judgment upon America and deliver his people out of the condition that he put us in. Was that it? Verse 2. Baruch chapter 4 verse 2. Turn thee, O Jacob, and take hold of it. Walk in the presence of the light thereof, that thou mayest be illuminated. We want to be illuminated as a people. Rule this earth and rule God's kingdom. Read. Verse 3. Give not thine honor to another. You know how people always try to include everybody in the Bible? Say the white man going to be saved, the Chinese man going to be saved, the East Indian man. No. God says don't give up. Don't give what was given to us to another nation. Read it again. Step down. Give not thine honor to another. 
This Bible belongs to us and us only. Read. Right. Nor have the things that are profitable unto thee. God's laws is profitable only to the Israelites. To a strange nation. To the white man. To the Chinese man and East Indian. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is 